I'm Amanda Sicatelli, and this is Inside Bioprocessing, a special interview series featuring experts and leaders at the forefront of bioprocessing, biomanufacturing, and cell therapy. Inside Bioprocessing is brought to you by BPI, the Bioprocess International Conference and Exposition, committed to advancing the interests of the bioprocessing industry by delivering new ideas, demystifying technology, and fostering partnerships to move drug candidates closer to approval. Joining us today is Raul Singhvi, Chief Operating Officer at Takeda Vaccines. Raul, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. So let's start with, how has the vaccine industry evolved or changed over the years, and what does that look like today? The vaccine industry is going through a very exciting phase. Um, it has been growing in the last, um, I would say, two to three decades in a, at a very good pace. We've seen some very important vaccines come to the market in the past, 15 years, uh, including the pneumococcal vaccine, uh, HPV vaccine, uh, a vaccine for rotavirus. So we've seen some real good advances in the vaccine area, both um, impacting public health as well as um, uh, very important from, from a business standpoint. Great. So where do you see the greatest needs and opportunities in terms of technological in innovation, development, and manufacturing solutions? From my standpoint, vaccines can have the biggest impact if it can, uh, if we can uh, uh, provide it or make it accessible to as many people as possible. Um, and for us to be able to do that, uh, we have to make sure that we can produce it at a cost that is affordable for as many people as possible. So uh, manufacturing obviously plays a big role in that. Um, so we are very uh, interested in, in taking advantage of the newest um, uh, manufacturing technologies that can help us reduce the cost of upfront setting up the capacity of the, of the manufacturing, um, and then the ongoing cost of goods. Okay. Companies in the vaccine space tend to be very insular, controlling all aspects of the process, but Takeda is taking a partnering approach. Can you tell us about that and why? Sure. Um, vaccines are, are very complex molecules with very complex supply chains. Um, as you know, most vaccines require a cold chain and to release vaccine lots, you may have to go through up to 300 tests. So for a complex product like this, it's not completely unreasonable for companies to, be, to keep all of these activities within their own, uh, within their own um, sort of uh, confines. Um, but at the same time, what we're seeing in the industry now is that uh, there are many very strong service providers, both uh, contract manufacturers and CROs, contract research organizations, that do certain things very well. And, and this trend has been um, catalyzed by the bio biopharmaceutical industry, uh, which uh, has been very open to doing partnership with CMOs and CROs. Uh, we believe that that's an opportunity for us because we now see uh, uh, an option where we can actually go out and, and partner with CMOs and CROs very early and thereby reduce our financial risk uh, and at the same time, um, improve our timelines. So we see this as an opportunity. It's risky, but something that we are willing to take, uh, take on. Okay. So where do you see the vac vaccine industry a few years out? What are the key trends and opportunities to watch? Yeah, I think vaccines is an exciting area and it's gonna continue to grow. Um, in, in the infectious disease area, um, we have many emerging diseases that keep coming up, as you've seen in your own lifetime. Um, and so we need vaccines for all of them, and we need vaccines very quickly for many of these emerging diseases, uh, such as Ebola, for example. Um, we're seeing unprecedented collaboration right, these days now with the uh, government agencies and private companies and non-government organizations to help um, pr produce and, and uh, develop these vaccines as quickly as possible. So that's a very exciting thing. Um, I think that at the same time, the industry itself has uh, certain pressures and, and those pressures will shape the industry. We will see more consolidation uh, in the multinationals, uh, but at the same time, we'll see some new entrants like ours. Um, and um, uh, we, we will also see some, um, uh, some companies um, emerge in the um, markets outside of Europe and, and the US. Um, uh, this is going to make a, a, a very exciting industry and uh, we will continue to see a uh, big impact of vaccines um, in the future. Absolutely. Well, we're about out of time today, um, but Raul, thank you so much for this insightful perspective. Thank, thank you for joining us today. Thank you again for having me.
Um, this concludes the episode of Inside Bioprocessing. If you would like to learn more about BPI, the Bioprocess International Conference and Exposition produced by the IBC Life Sciences Group, please visit us online at ibclifesciences.com slash BPI. Until next time, I'm Amanda Sicatelli. Thanks for tuning in.